All right, good morning, everyone. It's 9.45. Kelvin's going to class. I'm going to DG. And this is Carol, Caroline? Caroline. Yeah, Caroline. Caroline, she's one of, the, one of our, infinity, I can't talk this morning, I'm so sorry. She's one of our infinities, a member of our infinity family. So we're right, just gonna walk into class right now. I'm gonna talk to her, get to know her a little bit. And yeah, it's so bright. Good Lord, I'm like just squinting and the what? Okay, I'll vlog later. Hey everyone, so currently in the car with Kelvin. We're on our way to Korean barbecue with an infinity. Super exciting. Um, Tim is one of our incredible members of our, of our infinity family. And um, Kelvin and I hung out with him at EDC and he's just overall like really amazing. We've been able to like, keep in touch um, through the months and stuff. So he's coming to, L or he is in LA. And so he asked if we can you know, go get lunch or something. We're like, yeah, I mean, we loved him. So yeah, that's what we're doing now. We're gonna go get Korean barbecue with him. And I always try to make time for my infinities. Um, especially like, of course I know like who comments every day, who always is you know, super interactive and engaging. So I always try to be as interactive and engaging back, like commenting back to everyone. But also like, you know, if you all do ever come to LA and you know, I always try to make it work. I do have a busy schedule, so it's always no promises, but I'll always try to. But yeah. yeah. But today, let's drive a lot of topics since we are going to Ollie Kinney. And it's been a while. Yeah, it is. It has been a while. It's been a while. It's been like but three weeks. More than that, because I've been story recording. Oh yeah, it's been like mm, over a month. Yeah, over a month. So <laughs> if you are a true infinity, you know that Kelvin and I love food. Food is life, actually though, but also food is just happiness. Like food feed food to the soul. Um and so we I thought that we could talk about like fads in regards to diets. So there's like the big thing like about the paleo diet where What is paleo? So paleo is the only anything that like your prehistoric like um like caveman self would eat, so like meats, no processed oh, okay, no processed okay. grains, so just meat and okay. vegetable basically. So no yeah, processed food, That's no uh, grains, things like that. That's basically just another form of keto, right? I don't know what that is. Keto is basically like low to no carbs. Yeah. So there's just like there's so many different types. There's that and then Kelvin brought juice cleanse. <laughs> Juice cleanse is terrible. No one should ever subject themselves to that. Yeah, but there's just a lot of really, like, yeah, like bad you're diets. You're getting the same in the body. It's the same like kind of stuff. Why are you subjecting yourself to liquefying everything? Why? I don't know. I just love food too much. Like my one answer to all the fads and diets is like, well, I love food. I mean, don't, some some and don't tell me to like give up carbs because like what the heck would I do? Without okay, that's funny. <laughs> I was just about to say the only one I think like actually has some merit to it is like a low carb yeah. diet. Well, too bad. I love me my pasta, my noodles, my breads. Oh Ooh. yeah, oh yeah. So, it's very difficult for me to do. I did it for one week. Yeah. You remember that. I do. You it was miserable. terrible. You're it was miserable. terrible. No, you guys, okay. You guys don't realize like how like miserable it is to not be able to eat meat. I mean, not meat, like carbs until you have to force yourself to do it. And I went to the dining halls too, so it wasn't even like that bad for me. Because like, you know, there's the a bunch of like, there's like salad bars on salad bars. So it wasn't even that difficult. But then, you know, you watch, you eat with your friends, they're getting like pizza and stuff, and you're sitting here looking at your chicken breast with like two grains of salt on it and like three grains of pepper, and it just feels bad. You're just yeah. sitting there like, what am I doing with myself? Yeah. And then they're like, hey, do you want to get any kind of food whatsoever? And you're like, oh, no, sorry, man. I already had my 30 carbs from the two tortilla chips I ate today. Amazing. Yep. This is an actual struggle. It was terrible. It was to terrible. be fair, you did you did lose a little weight. I feel like you, it was noticeable within a week. Plus, plus. You were also like, like crazy. Gym unlike routine. unlike any kind of unlike any kind of diet, you want to limit the amount of fat you eat. So when you cut out like fat and carbs, ho oh, ho. Yeah, you couldn't have chips. You don't understand how much fat, like, okay, it builds up, like, very, very quickly. Because everything has just a little bit of fat, and it just sneaks up on you until you realize, I can't eat anything. My diet literally consisted of salad, chicken breast, and... More chicken breast and salad. Uh, I think that's, like, all you ate. I'm pretty sure that was, like, all you ate. I think I had some soup. Did you? I don't think you did. No, soups were too much fat. I remember that. Yeah, you 
literally just had salad and chicken breast for a week. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it, guys. It's not worth it. You love yourself. Unless you're like training for some sort of bodybuilding competition, it's not worth it. Like, I learned from my dad, and his philosophy in life is, you know what, we live, like, food helps sustain us, and we live because of food, why not eat good food, also you could die tomorrow, so just eat it. <laughs> that said, don't eat food that's gonna make you die tomorrow. That, yeah. That's bad. That's another thing. But, I mean, food is happiness. It is. It is. It is literally happiness. Yeah. Food triggers psychological. No, food dopamine, triggers yeah. yeah a physical response in the brain. Yes, but also psychologically, you're just happier. Yeah. It rewards the survival instinct. <laughs> Although I feel like nowadays we could do a little, with a little less of the survival instinct. Continue on Arlington Avenue for one mile. I'm excited to eat. Yeah. Oh, I'm really excited. I miss. I miss like me. It's been so long. I miss the key barbs. But yeah, so we'll go ahead and vlog when we're there with Tim. <laughs> Alright, so we're here. And we're here with Tim! Yes! Alright, do you have anything you want to say to your Sandy family? I have no idea. I'm not on camera that I, okay. Good. Um, I love good. you. We all love the Infinity family. He's a part of our Infinity. We're all in this wonderful family. But we're excited for food. That's what I'm more excited about. More excited about. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just really hungry. I had okay. Yesterday, I ate at. What about breakfast? Yeah, like we what? ate at like we ate uh, at like 12? noon, and I had a bagel, yeah. egg, and salmon. And then for lunch, or at the tailgate yesterday, I had two hot dogs, no ketchup. It was very sad. And then I had ramen at like midnight. Yeah. So right now I'm hungry. It's two o'clock. So we need to get in here and eat. <laughs> Here we are, happiest place on earth. Besides EDC, besides EDC though. But ah, look at all this. Oh yeah, that reminds me. Look at all this amazingness. Okay, we don't have the meats yet, but. Kelvin is so um, he's trying to gift a gift to Tim. Who is he now? I got him into raving, and look at what he is now. Do we see this? Anyways, I'm so excited for this food. Yum. Hi, right, there's no meat on the grill because we're eating it all. It's all in our tums and on our plates. Oh yeah, happiness. Happiness. Woo. It's so beautiful. All right, everyone. So it's seven o'clock now. Here, Kelvin. He's doing his homework. Look at this. Look at this. Paper and pencil doing his work. Crazy stuff. Um, but yeah, then I'm just working here on some Victoria's Secret Pink stuff. Just getting stuff for our new team that we're about to hire and just getting things in order, planning things out. Then I'm gonna work on some homework, watch some Quantico on the way, of course. But yeah, it's back on that schoolwork grind. Alright, everyone, so it's nighttime now. I think it's like nine something. And we're at Ralph's here with Kelvin and Melissa. Frank's also here, but he's in a different aisle now. But yeah, we're getting some groceries, last week groceries. I'm just here because I've been picking up some dinner. I'm excited. I got some boiling crab. I just had to do it. I've been craving it for like two days. So, oh, it's in there, that way. Look at this, shrimps. I'm so excited, ah! And then over here, Kelvin, Wilson, and Frank got this big pizza. It also looks very appealing, but not as appealing as the shrimps, but the pineapple for the win though. Yeah, so. Let's dig in! Mm -hmm. 